In this video, I want to go over the snail problem on Code Wars. And what it wants you to do is, given an n by n array, return the array elements arranged from outermost elements to the middle element, traveling clockwise. Now, if we look at the examples, we'll start with this, this one down here. What I want you to do is to traverse the 2D array in such a way that it mimics a spiral. So it will look like 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 7, 7, 9, 8, 7, 7, 4. We've done the outer edges. Now we'll go inside 5, 6, 9, 8. Now, what it wants you to return is the integers in the order of which you have traversed, say, such down here. So for this, it would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8, 7, 6, 9, 8, 7, 4, 5. Now, the way I solve this, we're going to pull out this notepad right here. It's actually quite simple. Um, what I did is for the very first element or the array, 1, 2, 3, I appended it or added it to a new list that I created. So 1, 2, 3, and then I removed it from the snail map. So the snail map now looks like this, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is step one. Step two is the new 2D snail map, I rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So it'll look like 6, 9, 5, 8, 4, 7. That is the two steps that you do to solve this problem, and you do it over and over until the snail map is gone. Once it's rotated counterclockwise, all you do is you remove this you take the six nine uh the first element which is the list six nine and you append it to the new ray you see six nine here and then you remove it just like you did up here and then you rotate it counterclockwise and so on and so forth you do that so what we're going to do is we're going to start out by creating the list that we're going to return at the end of this problem and it's going to say snail list and we're going to set it equal to empty list from here, we need to create a while loop. So I'm just going to say while snail map. What this while loop is essentially saying is while elements exist in snail map, continue to execute over and over this while loop. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the first step that we showed you um, on the notepad. And it's going to be basically two steps. It's going to be taking the first element array and appending it to our snail list list and then removing it from our snail map. That is the first step. So we're just going to say snail list and we're going to say dot append uh, snail map dot pop zero. Now what this pop function does is it returns and removes the element that you specify. So we're specifying the very first element of our snail map. What it's going to do is return it to this append function, and then this append function is going to append it to the snail list. Once it's done that, it will then remove the first element from our snail map, if that makes sense. Next, we need to rotate this new 2D array by 90 degrees counterclockwise. And this is going to look confusing at first, but I will go over it right after we do it. So snail map is equal to list map. Map takes two functions, so list zip snail map. And then we are going to reverse it at the end. OK, <clears throat> so what this does is if we go over here, um, I'm also going to pull this up again. OK, so this array right here that we're looking at, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, rotated 90 degrees will look like this, 3, 6, 9, 2, 5, 8, 1, 4, 7, or if you three six nine two five eight one four seven that would be rotated ninety degrees counterclockwise. The way we do it is with this function right here. Uh, I can probably 
Nope, I gotta copy it. So let's copy it. Okay, and I'll paste it here. So what this, how this starts out is with this zip function. This zip function right here, which I'm doing right up here with the X um, array, is what it does is whatever iterables that you put in as an argument, it will map them together. Say like you had one array of one, two, three, and another array of two, four, five, six. It would map one and four as a tuple, because those are the first elements of those two two and five is a tuple and so on and so forth. However, we have a one iterable array. It's a 2D array. So what this star does is it unpacks it. Now it's the same thing as the passing three arrays to this zip function. One, two, three is one array, four, five, six is another array, seven, eight, nine is the next array. And what it does is it takes the first element of every single single iterable and it puts them into a tuple. So 147 will be a tuple, 258 will be a tuple, and so on and so forth. What this returns is a zip object. This zip object is an object that must be converted into a different data structure. So what we do is we use this map function that takes two parameters, a function and an iterable to be applied. So this zip function is a list of tuples right here. Um, it will, it'll look like this, but instead of lists, these being lists, these will be tuples. And it's going to apply the list function to the tuple 147, the tuple 258, and it will convert these tuples into lists. And that's all this map function is gonna do. Then when, <clears throat> We return it, we have a map object. We have to convert the map object into a list that we did here. And once we convert the map object into a list, we're converting the outer uh, array into a list that was a map object. And once we've done that, um, it is this right here. But in order to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise, we must then reverse what we have here. So the element 369 will be the first element, the element uh, 258 will be the middle one, and the element 741 will be the last one. And if you check 369, 369, 258, 258, 147, 147. We have now rotated at 90 degrees um, counterclockwise. Last, all we need to do is we need to use some list comprehension and Right now, if we just return, um, if we just return snail list, it's not going to work, and I'll show you why. It will technically be correct, but not in the type correct data type. So we're just going to print um, snail list, snail list. Yeah. Okay. So attempt it. Okay. So if we look down here. What it's returning is one, two, three, six, nine, eight, seven, four, five. As a list of lists, the integers are correct, but it needs to be one single list. See, one, two, three, six, nine, eight, seven, four, five. And we can do this with list comp comprehension. So if we just remove this, so we can do um, return j for i in snail list for j and i and what this is doing is this is the outer for loop which is going to iterate throughout each one of our elements and then this other for loop for j and i is going to iterate through every single element in each element well, J is going to be each element inside of our other element, and then we're just going to append it here. So it's going to be one, two, three appended, and then it's going to do six, nine appended here, and it's going to basically put it into one list. And if we 
attempt this, this should work. Yeah, all 105 pass. So that is the snail problem um, on Code Wars. It is a bit difficult if you're not familiar with any of these algorithms, but the more you do it, the, the more used to it you'll get. So if you found any value from this or you learned anything, I would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.